Hi everyone, the weekend is here and as promised, I am here to show you how to apply the Galaxy livery on PC. I'm sorry this took longer than expected because um, I was just trying to experiment with it to make sure that I get all the steps correct and that you don't lose any vehicle parts while doing this uh, glitch. A lot of users have um, asked me about this before, so um, today here it is. Throughout the weekend, I will also be uploading other videos that show you how to get the other liveries. Again, this is for PC, not for console, so um, to take note of that. Once this video is out, I think a lot of other people will be posting it on their channel as well. But I would appreciate a shout out just to say you saw it here first. So before you do this glitch, I will need to show you one thing. You will actually need the Maxwell Vagrant. I would call this a donor vehicle and it will be transferring the livery onto your target vehicle. So my target vehicle is another Night Shark and I will be putting the Galaxy livery on that. I will show you exactly what to do so all you have to do is just follow. So once you're outside, open your interaction menu and call for your MOC. After that, call for your Fagio mod or any bike that you want to use this uh, glitch with. It doesn't matter which bike, uh, all the bikes will work, or most of them I would say. Some of you may be familiar with this particular phase already, so if you want to, you can actually skip forward until the part where I drive the Vagrant out from the arena. For those of you still new to this, I will be driving the Fagio mod right into the MOC. This is the first part and the most important part of the glitch. When you succeed during this phase, the other phases will not be a problem to you. It is also favorable to actually have high FPS and also a quick loading speed. So just drive the Fagio mod into the MOC, press E to accept the alert. Once you're in the MOC, immediately mount the bike and hold W while coming out. The bike should disappear, but it's really inside the MOC. So what you want to do right now is to actually call out the bike via the MOC menu. Just uh, request for personal vehicle. The bike will spawn somewhere around here um, without a personal vehicle icon. That would mean that you have already succeeded in phase one. I normally just stand around here uh, because I know approximately where it will spawn. So I'll just wait a few seconds and then I'll be running towards it. If you want to do this part of the glitch anywhere else on the map, it is totally possible. You just have to go look for a vehicle when it spawns. I just like to do it here because I know where the bike will spawn every time I call it. I just stand there and wait for it and uh, I can run directly towards it. So right now you can drive the bike all the way back to the arena. The next step, uh, which I call phase two, is to actually drive out the Vagrant. Phase one of the glitch is also used to glitch on F1 and Benny's wheels. I've left a link in the description for those uh, tutorials. So if you want to do that as well, you can uh, just go there and take a look. So back into the arena, onto the workshop level. Uh, my Vagrant is already parked there. I will just run towards the Vagrant and I will drive it out of the arena. For me, I'm just doing this at the arena because everything is just conveniently located next to each other. And also because I know where the cars will spawn when I call on them. So it's much easier for me to locate them. Now, once you're outside here, you want to call um, the mechanic and call out the car, which is the Night Shark in my case, that I want to put delivery on. And once you call the car, just wait for the car to appear. Um, it'll, be, it'll also be spawning somewhere around here. Just wait a few seconds for it and it will come. This is phase two, and quite an important step. You must call the target car out or else it will not work. That's because you have no target to um, donate to or transfer to. So I think the Night Shark should be out by now. And there it is. And now we continue to drive the Maxwell Vagrant to the MOC. Uh, this, was, this is what I consider phase two. Phase two will be making the Vagrant uh, disappear into the MOC the same as the bike. However, if the car does not disappear during phase two, don't fret, you can still continue on with the glitch and you will still be successful. So let's go into the MOC here. Press E to accept the alert to go in. Once you're inside, immediately go back into the car and then press W and hold to come out. The car will disappear also. So this is phase two done. So now we just proceed to any LS customs in the city to proceed with phase three. I'm using a job teleport right now just to go there faster so I don't have to drive. Um, if you don't know how to use job teleports, uh, I've left a link in the description for a tutorial on how to job teleport quickly. So now that we are here we, to proceed with phase three, we call out the Maxwell Vagrant from within the interaction menu. Just go to your MOC and call out your personal vehicle. 
if you encounter a cooldown, just wait for it. Um, this glitch is not time sensitive, so uh, nothing will change. Once you're at this third phase, I don't see any reason that you will fail the glitch. So get into the Vagrant when it arrives and drive it straight into LS Customs. So when you are in LS Customs, you have to go to the section on livery. And the hidden galaxy livery that we want to transfer is actually on one of the liveries over here. And that is the blue tartan. But it will not transfer unless you repurchase it. So I'm just going to buy another livery and then buy back the blue tartan. And that livery will be num livery number 27. I think that's easy enough to remember. So once you purchase this livery, you are free to go out of LS Customs as this is the only thing that you will need to buy. Right now, you are actually 100% successful. So what you need to do now is um, get out of the car and uh, go to Creator. And then from Creator, you will come back down into an invite-only session. I'm just going to speed up the video here. Once you come back down into an invite-only session, your, uh, your Night Shark it should be nearby with the Galaxy livery already applied. And that is how it is done. You won't be able to change the livery when you are in LS Customs with the Night Shark, but you can actually change your colors. I would also recommend that you remove all the armor plates so that you can actually see the full livery. I think uh, that would be very nice as well. And that is how the glitch is done, nice and simple. Leave your comments down below um, if you need help with the glitch, but I think it should be pretty simple. A lot of my other videos feature this glitch as well. We just use it to do different things. Just remember that throughout the weekend, I will be showing you a few more videos for other deliveries as well. So do like and subscribe so that you will get notified when the new video hits. Have a great weekend and I will see you in the next video.